Salsa Fest is expected to draw hundreds of people to downtown Aransas Pass. The fest will block off Commercial Street. I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Victoria Valderrama, talking with some of these business owners who believe the crowd won't benefit them. They blocked us out and then roped every business in downtown from the event. That's what Luana Martin says happened during last year's Salsa Fest. People could not see our business from the street. Martin, who owns the Rialto Theater downtown, tells us the street was blocked off and so were the local businesses. The city told Martin it's set up that way because of the rules and regulations from selling hard alcohol. Well, it's a problem because as business owners, we pay taxes. And the event itself is a wonderful event. We love the event. We're here to, to support the event. But we need the businesses to be supported as well. On this map of Salsa Fest, you can see people can walk up and down Commercial Street with alcohol, but anything past the red line is not allowed. That's according to event organizers Donald Nisloni and Amanda Snyder. We have permission to use the state highway for the event. Sidewalks will be left open, and we have to provide a general area where we're going to be allowed to serve alcohol. And we have not allowed people in and out of that event with alcohol. There's only one person allowed to sell alcohol at an event, and that's the law. Snyder says they do support local businesses and want to bring more people downtown. We get a lot of support from, from the community to, to put it on, um, but like he said, these, these sidewalks are completely open and there's access um, throughout the event to everyone. So I reached out to city leaders asking them about their involvement with Salsa Fest. None of them have gotten back to me. In Aransas Pass, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Victoria Valderrama, Chris News.